Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are going to speak here about uh, conference sites, uh, Joomla days and G events. Um, actually, it's about how to build a full conference site uh, with J events and Joomla, I think, in the correct way, because I see some problems nowadays, and people are still building conference sites as if it were 2005, and I don't like that. So, who I am? I'm, well, it's everyone, I'm being heard. Is it loud enough or? Okay, good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, for first row, I, I probably, but yeah, okay, nice, thank you. Uh, I'm Carlos Camara, okay. I work at J Events. I do development, I do support, I do documentation, and I do whatever I think I can be useful. So I try to work there the best I can. So I'm a Jula enthusiast since 2008. Uh, although I know Jula, and I have been working for you with Jula since Mambo times, but 2008 was like my starting point with Jula, my starting date. Uh, since then, I'm doing Spanish training, okay, because I'm from Spain, as you can see for my bad English. I, we, we built a blog with Isidro Vaquero and me uh, called newla.com, which was once nominated for the Oscars, and we are very proud of it. We didn't want, okay, but it's nice. Uh, and that, that blog is almost dead, so we started a different project called uh, Manuales Joomla. It's called more or less it's Joomla Manuals. Which started with a free ebook for Spanish users, and I also am moderator of a Spanish uh, section of the official forum, and I enjoy a lot doing free support there for for users because it's it's very fun to learn how they use the you learn the stuff. I'm also working in one of our first JSOC projects, which is called J Research. It was about handling publications uh, and research. Uh, through Joomla, okay, and um, it's a component that was kind of in going to be dead. And I spoke with Luis Galarraga, which is the main developer, and um, we agreed into get try try to give it a go. So we are working into it. And also, I do Joomla and web consulting. Mainly, I try to do Joomla because it's more fun, and that's all more or less who I am. You have here some cards if you want to get after the session. Um, I'm always, I, I always like to speak about everyone, so we can speak later if you want or have a beer or whatever. Okay, <clears throat> let's go into the topic. I see this main problem, three main problems in current conference sites, okay? One of the it is like very, very painful and it's like people use an article, an HTML article as the program. They added the program, they use tables normally, or maybe if they are like very bootstrap guy, they, they use bootstrap to adding uh, elements to the program. And they end up with a nice program, a nice looking program. But the problem is that if you have to make changes to that program, you are in trouble because you have to go to edit, you have to know the code, You, it's kind of, uh, way it's not automatic so and I think that this is something that we can solve actually here in JM Beyond you have seen the conference component that Robert created and it's very nice but I have not found it in the extensions developer or I'm not sure if it is freely it's available GitHub. it's on github okay it's it's on github I, I didn't check github so uh, I'm proposing a different solution my solution is using J events and another problem I see with conference sites is that they are only for showing some information to attendees and mainly to get uh, attendance inf uh, records, okay? They do not interact with attendees. They do not allow them to plan their conference. So that is something that I think we can we solve very well at the event. Uh, finally, and this is also really painful, I see lots of conference sites using Joomla that they handle their registration through third parties. I mean, uh, last, last year, Jula Day Spain handled the, the registrations through Ticketmaster or Eventbrite or whatever. And there is no, no mean to that. If we are in Jula, we have nice registration uh, add-ons and components. So why don't we use that? We are in Jula, use Jula. 
So that's the other thing that I want to cover in this. The way I have planned this is I'm going to go through a couple of slides. I'm going to show you the inner of the demo site I have built. And we are going again through the some slides and through the inner of the of the site. And you may ask whenever you want or if you have any doubt or whatever, okay? Even if I'm going too slow or too fast, you can tell me and we'll try to solve that. <clears throat> Okay, this is my approach. The, the front-end approach is for the program. As you can see, it's a regular program. You can see that in lots of uh, sites. Actually, the, some of the features of this or the structure is inspired in J events com conference, in J and Beyond com conference. So it's not that different from what we have here. But the, the main difference is at backend. The backend is managed as events, as sessions as it should be. You create your session for this day, and then you have it shown in the program, OK? So that's the, the main difference for, for this program. To build something like this, it's uh, something you can do. We, we, we use a template override in JEvents, because uh, by default, we don't have that view of a program. But uh, and that is something that you can easily do with dual articles, for instance. I remember one article from by Viviana, the Spanish magazine, for having dual articles of your event manager. And it was very nice, and it's a solution that might work. The problem with a conference is that each session is not a session. It's a session, and it's related to a speaker, and it's also related to the room where it takes place. And for that, we do not only use events in JEvents, we only use resources, and that's what we use. We use two types of resources to solve that. This way, you have always everything linked, and you can easily go through, show information, for instance, how many times, how many sessions a speaker have, in case they have more than one, or which sessions are handled in, in this room, or that kind of stuff which uh, you cannot do if you do not have something that relates that information, OK? So even if you can do some things with template overrides and not need, you do not need to use JEvents, you really need to, to have something that gets everything together. It's all about architecture, OK? Also, uh, in this solution, we are going to see that uh, having uh, our information, our, our good architecture is going to provide a better uh, user experience because we are allowed to show our sessions or the sessions we consider important in our conference in fancy slides so that your user can see at a glance what is the nice, the best you can offer. And also, we have some nice uh, features like add you to your calendar so that everyone can add the the session information to the calendar, or a built-in conference planner, which uh, registered users can can use to 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 remember which are the sessions they want to attend. I mean, when I come to this event to JM Beyond, the first thing I do with I get, when I get the program is mark with a wall pen where I want to attend. Why don't do that on the website and have it everything uh, uh, on hand for your registered users for people who have already registered? And also, the nice thing is uh, we can tweak the edit screen for sessions, so we can easily uh, improve management for uh, session editing. I have a, 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 a real story about this. Uh, we used this on Jula de Malaga, this solution. Uh, it was on, held on November, I think, or October, November. And I, I set up everything. I was the one in charge of the G events part, and because I was the, the one that proposed this solution. And uh, we needed to do some changes because we got some ski pickers that couldn't do it. So we had to make some changes. And my other uh, uh, partner colleagues in the organization made it. And they had never used the event. But it was so easy for them to create the to edit the, the session with this way. They do not need to go. They just need to change the information. So it was very nice to see that the solution actually works. And yeah, this is the painful thing I spoke about. You never use a third party. We're in Jula. Why do you have to pay to someone for each registration you get? I mean, you can handle that, and you do not need to, 
to to do that that thing with Eventbrite or whatever, uh, which are nice if you really need a simple solution. But if you are working in something that is uh, uh, you expect a lot of attendees, it's kind of a problem. Okay, for instance, in Yula de Malaga, we didn't charge for tickets, so paying for uh, tracking the attendance was no was was a pain because we couldn't we we are not getting money from the registration. So <laughs> also with our registration solution in J Events, you can get user to create the user account on registration. And it allows you see actual attendance tracking. You can actually, when you check someone on the uh, at the door, you can get uh, automatically connected to the site and and add it as attended. So you can have actual track of who is attending and who is not. And also they added this because it's a nice feature. I guess you can even have a checkbox in your registration form where you add. Uh, you will ask people to subscribe to your newsletter or whatever you want, okay? If they want to get um, communications about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show a bit about uh, what we have here, okay? Uh, first of all, we are going through the program. This is the program, okay? And it's, uh, as you can see, it's perfectly uh, responsive. Okay, it's inspiring uh, Com Conference and a couple of other sites. So, and this is the administration part, where you just go to the events, and here are your sessions. Okay, if we want to add a new session at uh, this time, we just go to new. We are going to do this as a site development session. We select the speaker, okay? David Johnson is going to do it. And we select the room. Let's check which room. Let's do it in blue room. Okay? And that's all. Ah, okay, we choose the date. It's October, so. The automatic change and the time. It's 5.15, no, 4.13, okay. And it should be here, but it is not. Oh, it's not right. It's 4, 15 p.m., 5.30. Uh, so you can close. Let's see if it is okay. Leave session. Oh, it's not published. That's a problem. Okay. Okay. And here we have it moved. Not sure why. Okay, but we, we it, it was working, so not sure what happened. Leave, leave demos is what they have. Anyway, uh, my yearly experience, let me check. I didn't pick the room. Oh, it's supposed to be big. Okay, then we have a bug. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you have seen at least that the, the adding session part is fully customizable. Uh, you have here a speaker, you have here a room, and you just choose here the, the start and then time, okay? It's that easy. Okay, that's for the program. As you have seen, I have the a speaker and room selection here, okay? This is handled through our J events people and resource manager. Okay, so we create the types. We have three types here. Sponsors, in case you want to handle the sponsors too. Rooms and speaker. Okay, and then you choose, you create your rooms or 
your speakers or if you want the sponsors well just sponsors okay and then you you just choose them in the event is is that easy we have all this prepared as template overrides and uh, everything that needs to be a bit customizable you can download it from the events okay so it's it's like that and for registration we use uh, our component that is called RSVP Pro, okay, where you can fully customize the registration. You create your template, okay, and here you have you you use the this this form that is quite easy where you can add the type of field you want, okay, and you just uh, add the the fields you need full name attendee payment option you can add more payment options we have all of bank and credit card or paypal uh, we offer integration with virtual or hika shop so that you can have uh, all the payment gateways you need and you can use those third parties to use that uh, payment those payment gateways we also offer early bird discounts and yeah you set the price and whatever you need and here we have okay i think we have to go back to backend registration okay and we can do the re a test registration now You can see I have to choose a username because I'm going to create a registered user. Okay. I'm going to do bank transfer. I don't need an invoice. If I want to 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 get a guest, okay, I can I can subscribe a guest. This is the the idea for this is to get, for instance, a companion tickets. In my, my first development, serious development work in Jula around 2009 was a conference site. We use it Chronophones to handle this, everything, and because the events didn't have RSVP Pro at that point, and I think, or I was not aware. <laughs> and uh, one one of the things they requested was the companion ticket. It's a it was a medical conference. A surgeon's conference, and they wanted a t to offer a ticket for wives or partners, actually, so that uh, they can get a alternative plan. You can go with your partner to the conference, and instead uh, then attending all the conferences about how to open a brain, they can go for. It was in Seville, so they can go for see some flamenco or whatever they wanted. I mean, there were some planned activities for them, and it was a different price. So if you are a companion, you get a discount automatically added here. And you can configure this in the uh, RSVP Pro template, OK? Once you have uh, everything, well, you also have conditional fields. So if you need an invoice, you just choose and add your billing name or whatever. And then you click to attend, OK? And this is the the information where you have to do the payment i have configured as vp pro like uh, everyone even if it has not paid yet gets approved but you can uh, do it otherwise you can make it so that only when they actually paid you can mark that manually or you can have a automatic gateway uh, you see you you see they they, they are not allowed to to access the the conference information okay so now uh, we are registered. If you go to login, okay, I'm going to use a different uh, part for this. Okay, this. If you go to login, this is not what they intended. Okay, then it's here. Demo limit. The leave demo is the real one.
okay? And here you have your area for the users, and this is empty, this is quite empty, and you will see now why. I'm going to go a bit further with the slides, and then we'll, we'll check into that. <clears throat> okay, as I told you, uh, we can offer a conference planners for people that want to organize their conference, and it is as easy as uh, when you go to the program, now, as you are registered on the site, you see this star. And then you can see, you can mark what do you want to check. Oh, I want to do, well, coffee break is always. <laughs> I am not sure about the design and the site development conference, so I'm going to mark both. Uh, I want to develop a nice site with Yula, definitely. And I'm going to do my Yula experience. Okay, and now if you go to, to your area you have only the events you have marked okay so you have here your conference planner everything is here and you are not convinced about any of this okay we got rid of it and it will be off okay so yeah. and everything also in the in the in the other in the program you have the the things you mark it's in a different image so you can see the the program and this is not offering any conference site right now uh, i am aware of it's offering this but it's very useful when you want to to check uh, what uh, to see and it's just a mobile interface so you can go and check it's responsive and you can you can work it out i mean it's it's very nice okay so uh, this is the conference planner I already spoke, and the actual attendance. Uh, if we go to the site, okay, if we go to our ticket, okay, we, we see we have here now, as we are registered and we consider we have paid, uh, we have our pin tickets, which we can see here, okay? And in the print tickets, you can include a QR code. You can include whatever you want in the print tickets but we include a QR code. I, I mean, if you check with a mobile, not being, uh, okay, I'm going to copy this. Okay. Uh, if you check not being a, a regular user, you will see this. You are not authorized to validate tickets, so you cannot validate the ticket. So we are pretty safe in that aspect. You need to be a regular user. But if you are logged in as a, as the admin of the site or as a group that can check those uh, tickets, which I am in this uh, window, or not, no, I'm in this window, okay, this, which I am in this window. No, this is not, again. Oh, it's here, sorry. You can see that attendance mark. And far more, you see here, it automatically marked my attending as I attend. So it's actual attendance tracking with just your cell phone, okay? You just need to be uh, logged in in the site as a authorized user and you will see attendance tracking there. Okay? We have used this, as I told you, in Jula de Malaga, and this site was really interesting because in this site, uh, the site was uh, already built, almost built, with all uh, speakers, and it was built with Sue. It was built by uh, Juanca, which is the Spanish guy with all the tattoos, all the skin painted. Uh, he's a, a great developer. He works with Sue, and he did a, an awesome job with Sue. So uh, instead of using our solution that uses uh, people, resources manager, and that kind of stuff, we're using another plugin we offer in the events, which is the CCK uh, linkage. We also use people, resource manager because it was easier, but we could have gone farther and customized a bit more. But it was easier at that point, and we had few less time, so we didn't go farther. And uh, we linked the events with the with the Sue elements. So when you go and see the oh. 
the program, because this is also a part I, I have not spoken about. When you see the event, you see here the speaker, okay? It's pulled automatically from from the linkage between J events and, and resource managers, and you can also see the room. Uh, this is a map or a plan or where the room is. So you can check and see the room. And also when you check the room, you can see which events take place there on Sunday or whenever the day you want. So instead of this, of having this that link to the, sorry, that links to the user, we use it too. And this is a people resource manager, but in Julia and Malaga, it was Sue, and it was nice. And here you can see also the sessions the, the user is, is the speaker of. So and you can add here his Twitter, his, plug, his Facebook, and his Google Plus profile. As you can see here in the people resources, if you see the speakers, Tom Pickman. Here you have his Twitter profile, his Facebook. These are custom, a custom field plugin we have, which you can extend uh, our components adding custom fields. So it's almost a CCK, but oriented for to, to J events uh, thing. So this is the, the, the and at Julia de Malaga, maybe it's already. We have, yeah, we have internet. <laughs> we have the program, okay? This is J events, and then when we access any of the programs, for instance, this. here we have the speakers, okay? This is also J events. We are showing the event, so this is also J events, and this is done uh, using the resource manager that links to Sue. Okay, so this is Sue, and you can customize this solution as much as you want. We provide the basics and with a basic layout so that you can have a starting point to adapt it to your template. As you see, this is not part of our main layout. It's kind of, but it's not the same. Um, uh, we offer, uh, but you can customize it's CSS, so no problem. And right now we are working in getting Jula de Argentina, a full J events stack solution. And uh, July Argentina is uh, held at the end of July, so I work on will work on that next week, and probably it will be ready because it's it's pretty fast to implement this kind of solution. The hardest part of the the time, the most consuming part is when you have to adapt to the template that you have to be a bit picky. Designers are, from my point of view, a bit picky about. Uh, I want this to be here, not here, but. Uh, but on the other hand, it's it's very easy to have it working. It's not a a bad thing. So uh, I'm good in time. Uh, I want to tell you that I have shown you a J -Event, our JVN solution. I fully think it's not like uh, Raphael told yesterday that we know a tool and then we try to. If you have a, a hammer, everything looks like nails. I do think this this is a really good solution for conference sites, and we are working to make it better for conference sites, not just for Jula days. Uh, but even though if you do not are not happy with the events, I really uh, want or to to give you the advice to to use proper tools. To do not use the program in HTML because if you have to do changes, it's really time consuming to start tweaking the program every time. And if you forget uh, to close a div, you uh, everything mess up. And to to provide full rich experience to your conference site users, you have seen that here they can they can add the planner, and you can even as I told you, you can. Uh, you can show them, I think it's here, here. Here it is. This call here, it's only for attendees. It's only shown if you are attendee of the event. So you can show a specific information of your, to your users. This is done uh, using a log position model. Okay.
So, you see? And uh, you can plug there whatever you want. I use this to, to offer my, my webinar at Manuales Joomla, my webinars uh, files to, to only attendees. And this is very nice to, sh to giving coupons or to providing information only for people who actually paid their, their ticket. So, I think this is, try to offer always a full rich experience to your users because uh, it's very valuable for them to, to have that. And also you can use the sharing Twitter or whatever buttons you want. <laughs> so this is all we have. We offer this for our to our club members, but we set up the installation if you are holding or in, in the organization of any Joomla base and you want to use this, just contact us and we'll set it up for you. Okay, so. That's all. Any question? Yeah. What is the schedule for your work? You've got way more sessions at the time. You've got 13 workshops at a time. Well, it will look crunch, actually, <laughs> because you have 13 rooms. Right. Okay, the, the problem with that is uh, I have not thought about that because it's not very common. But I mean, here you have this is a span through. Well, this is automatically created, I think, in the template override I create. It's automatically adjusted using uh, Bootstrap 2. One thing for, for 13 rooms, it's not prepared, actually. So. <clears throat> but uh, the way it is done, you can, for instance, use a uh, two two programs approach. I mean, you can have like six sessions top and then show in another uh, row the other six sessions, see the other six rooms. And that is, if that works, or you can even have the here tabs. We, we, you can, I mean, the way it is. Yeah, but uh, I mean, 13, 13 positions with four. <laughs> okay, with no, with no text, with no, no text. It has text in the, in the block. But a short text. Yeah, when you hover over it, you get How do you solve uh, mobile when the hovering with mobile? I mean, yeah, you can solve it like when you, I think you can uh, change that when you tap to, to do the hovering, yeah, but, then, but then you don't have the, the link option or you have to expand or something like that. That is actually something, it's not implemented, but it should not be hard because we have a powerful Jevons mobile filter, which, and this, these colors are categories. So it's something that could be tracked. For 13, I think I would go for sliders. Accordion, accordions, sorry. Okay, because uh, that way you can show them easily in mobile. Um, maybe it's a nice, uh, <clears throat> For that, uh, you can use people resources and also uh, Givens location, which people resources also have the possibility of showing a map. So you can have a map even in the when you are uh, adding the room, you can set it to to show a map. And I, I want to show first the, the slides. Okay, these are 
me log out because they look nicer. Okay, this is these slides are pulling from directly from the events. They are not, and it's only two because I set it to be the, those two. These are the feature section sessions, so it's like that. It's that easy. So if you go click click, you go to the event and you see here all the structure. For people resources, you can set up. In your rooms, you can say, uh, okay, it's an address. You can say it's a it's an show an address, and then when you edit your your uh, resource, you can put here the address, the actual address of the of the room. So if you have a conference with different venues, you can even get each room to to the venue to the same venue so you don't need to to do to get anything else this this will work <coughs> out of the box it's just a configuration option so if you have different venues this is a nice also a nice solution because you can you can say this this room goes to this hotel at this place and this also go to another place okay or you can create you can create a type a different type if you want. One thing that is also very interesting if you are having your users to edit the sessions, okay, is that in JEvents we have the conflict uh, checking. If you have conflict conflict checking, you can uh, instruct. I mean, JEvents will not allow. You can instruct in different ways, but the easiest way is it will not allow uh, two speakers to hold a session at the same time. I mean, one speaker to hold two sessions at the same time. So uh, that is very nice if you are having your users to edit sessions because they there is no way they can make a mistake. They they just uh, add the information. If it's wrong, uh, program will will say, "Hey, you can't add a session there because this user, this speaker, is already presenting at the time." So yeah. Yeah, that's a manual. Yeah, for for uh, payment gateways, we have the manual thing that is you can set it up. I mean, in in manual payment can be bank transfer, check, or whatever. You can you can check it here. Okay, payment options here. You allow you. It's just a select box where you say this is bank transfer and the option value is memo. Okay, fine. This is credit card or PayPal. I, I, I choose this name, and this is PayPal. Okay. <coughs> yeah, there is there is there is a PayPal. Yeah, this is uh, you only set up, and you can also set up per template the PayPal uh, the PayPal options. Okay, if you see here, it's we we set this to be sandbox, the default PayPal, and you can. Uh, choose the PayPal page, main page layout so that your users, before being redirected, see, sees this. But you don't need virtual like this, like this for PayPal, you don't need uh, virtual mart, and for authorized, you do not need uh, virtual mart. But for any other payment gateway, you need either virtual mart or Hikashop, whatever works. Hikashop business, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, but PayPal is is already here, and he can authorize. It's also here. So, yeah. The conference planner. Yeah, it's Well, that is pretty advanced, Jaren. Jaren, do you have a solution for that? Okay. Yeah. 
Ah, well, yeah, that's uh, something I forgot. Thank you, Yerang. Uh, we also have for registration, okay? Um, a reminder plugin. So you can enable that everyone that is registered gets a reminder, okay? And you can configure the emails and all the stuff. And also, uh, you can configure it to automatically send a message when they register an email, uh, a message if the event is canceled, which I hope never gets canceled because you already get the payment and you have to refund, and that's very, very messy. And yeah, and that, that stuff, and it's, it's quite interesting, I think. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an option. Yeah. <clears throat> this is a, a quick option, actually. It's up. Okay. Yeah, we we support email-based attendees, we call that, okay? And also registered attendees, okay? But if you do not register the user, they cannot use the conference plan because the conference plan is done using uh, Joomla username, user, user. Yeah. Yeah, no, we are constantly improving this part, but we usually do per request, okay? One of our, and he's taking notes, so it will be implemented. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Uh, I have two questions. Uh, I am one of the organizers of the first Joomla user group. Would you consider uh, supplying this component to a user group as well, instead of just conference all that? Well, our idea is to also give something back to the community. That's why we offer it free, the setup for, for Joomla days. For user groups, we need to check. Anyway, I mean, uh, Jaren, don't kill me. This is free software. So if you start a user group and you organize and you want to share uh, your extension between two or three or something, I don't think it's bad from the point of view of ethics. Well, no, this is this is awesome for for organizing that kind of stuff. Actually, yeah. Yes. The other question I have is uh, the HTML app. It's it's Joomla four, right? So it bootstrap two, maybe. Well, uh, the layout we offer it's uh, bootstrap two, but at J events we are I, we are aware of the problems with uh, templates using bootstrap three or UI kit or whatever they they want. So we offer an option. Uh, for do not load our bootstrap or bootstrap CSS, okay? And to do not load the JavaScript, but maybe for the layouts and for some features you need to do something, okay? But yeah, we offer the option for you to not include uh, bootstrap. We have a, our customized uh, bootstrap solution, mainly for JVN, for Joomla 2.5, because we still support Joomla 2.5. So we had to offer to, to include uh, Bootstrap in some way. So we created our own library for that. It's basically a copy of of uh, Joomla with Strap and named space, yeah, to avoid uh, conflicts. Okay. Thanks. Okay. The? Oh yeah, yeah. We have seats management. Yeah. It's not set up in this event. Uh, but it was, for instance, we used that for Jula de Malaga and it worked like a charm. A charm. Uh, it's in default category. When you create the session for the, the registration, this is a J events event, okay? Well, I have to disable the layout, sorry. <clears throat> well, here is where you manage the how things part of how things work. For instance, here you can customize the edit page to have the, the things you want. We have a description, we have the speaker, which is 
Uh, and here you have the the la the tags to include, so you do not know to you do not need to new a new a new language. You just can go here and see. Well, I want to show sponsor. Well, it's here. Okay, so it's not. So I'm going to unpublish this. And because I want to see this the attendance option. Okay, and here you can see. It. Uh, set the event capacity and you can even set a waiting list so if if some of your attendees if you allow cancellations if uh, the attendees if someone cancel one of the waiting list go automatically to the the first on the waiting list go into the event so it's kind of that and you can also set emails for that so <coughs> Okay, any other question? Anyway, I'm happy to speak with you if you have uh, something to tell us about this. We are around. We love speaking to someone, especially about the events and about everything. And pick up a card if you want, and I would be really happy if you get yours in your return. Otherwise, it's fine. Uh, thank you very much for attending. I hope you have uh, got something from this. Thank you very much. Hey, ah, this is a. Uh, if you were to uh, like add an option to drop the <coughs> columns or drop the columns, this is how sked.org does this. So instead of giving you the rooms, you hover over it. Yeah, but here you can't see. Ah, okay, you see Correct. in you two rooms. You can't see what room it is by this view, but if you had a lot of sessions, it would still let you get this kind of a. Actually, this view is easier than the one I provide. So this view 